Hey what's up outsiders, today we're going to be talking about one of the most talked about players in the Australian service history. He is known for his impressive gunmanship and creative thinking. The player I'm referring to is that of Ned Kelly. Ned Kelly, named by his parent players as Edward Kelly, spawned in the city of Beveridge, Victoria, where he managed to level up to level 25 before being banned from the game altogether. Ned was wanted by staff and moderators of Outside for a long time before what we will now refer to as the Stringy Bark mod bed. On the 25th update of patch 18.78.10, or as most players call it, October 25th, 1878, a group of mods were sent out to the area of Stringy Bark to apprehend the outlaw. However, Ned's guild got the jump on them and hunted the mods down. Unfortunately, the mods never recovered and were banned from the servers. That was when a bounty was put onto Ned's head. Any player to collect this bounty would collect $943.52 Australian. In today's meta, that would be worth $59,072.64 Australian. On the 8th of February, 1879, Ned and his guild raided the Gelidary mod station. They first rounded up the mods and suspended them. They then stole all the firearms and ammunition from the station. They then slept at the mod station till the next morning, where they then went to the nearby bank and looted it for all it had. The bounty on Ned's guild grew to what in today's matter would be equivalent of $940,162.19 Australian. Some previous days before Kelly's final hours, he had created a bulletproof armour out of a metal bucket and sheets. They then sat in the dimly lit shed of the Glen Rowan Inn, just along the railway line, of which a train was supposed to pass through. They had removed the track and expected the train to derail when it passed over. However, an escaped hostage warned the train in time, stopping thousands of mods from getting suspended or banned. Having their plan be ruined, they then started a shootout with the mods until there was only Kelly left alive. He put on his armour and ran into the field, banning around three or more mods from the server before being suspended himself until his ban on the 11th of November. He was banned by hanging in the now popular city of Melbourne, Victoria. Hey guys, just want to let you know that I have a Twitch, uh, so go over at twitch.tv forward slash guy The link will be in the description, uh, so go check that out uh, if you have the time. Um, hope to see you there.